afternoon. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today I've been playing around with my PIC 10F200 chip. Forgive me because I didn't show all of the startup steps required to create a new project. But I did leave some links in the description below which show some really great videos on how to do all of that. Chances are if you found this video which is on the PIC 10F200 you might be a beginner and you might require that. So I'm not going to cover it but check out the links in the description below that shows some great videos. I made a previous video which showed how to set up the PIC 10F200 and this is a very similar code to that video but anyway I'm just getting into this after about six months of not playing around with it so Here's just a short video showing showing an if statement. Okay, so it's important to include the library, but usually that's already included when you set your project up properly. And I'll just mention it's important to include the oscillator frequency the PIC 10F200 already has an internal oscillator so you don't need to add an external one into your circuit but as far as I understand you still need to define the frequency in your project so anyway, this is a very simple code. Uh, the tri-state register here, I have set uh, pins GP3 and GP2 as inputs. I'm not using the mclear as a reset pin. I'm using it as a input pin, although I don't, don't even use it in my circuit and pins GP1 and GP0 are set as outputs and so initially I have GP1 and GP0 which are outputs I have them equal to 0 to set them low and then if GPIO bits GP2 equals equals 1 if input pin GP2 senses a high then it goes through the rest of the code within curly braces which is basically just to flash GP1 on and off and then immediately flash GP0 on and off well, I will try and leave this code below, as you might like to try it yourself. Stay tuned. I do plan on creating some videos with more sophisticated code. I have made some progress with Arduino and coding, and I'm going to try and see if I can take that same C language code and see what I can do with the PIC 10F200. So please stay tuned and thanks for watching. I'm now going to move over to a video clip of my breadboard setup. All right, I'm I'm pretty proud of of this here. I I created a PCB board circuit so that I could plug in uh 10F200 PIC chip and program it 
easily having it pre-hardwired. You can't see it, but on the back of the board, I connected all of the IC socket pins up to the in-circuit serial programming pins on the PIC kit. I'll just show you this can disconnect here. So now I can easily uh, connect and remove um, the PIC kit 3. And if I want, I've got a 5-volt regulator kit I can make, and I can plug it into the power jacks. And I can power the PIC kit externally. In future, I may uh, build this up a little bit and create some LEDs that are on the periphery that I can just hook up really quickly. Well, anyway, it's the same code as I had on the screen. And when GP2 senses a low, then GP1 and GP0 take a turn flashing on and off. So I may turn the light out for added effect. Just to show this, here's my finger down here, pushing a push button. I don't know if you can see that. So a little push, delay, and then it goes red and blue. Now I'll turn the light out. To set this up correctly on GP2, and I have a printout of the pinout, so, so here's GP2, and that's the input pin, and on its own, it was sensing maybe what you might call transient voltage but anyway it was unstable and it was sort of accidentally setting the output pins g1 and g0 to go high and low so i needed um, a pull down resistor on gp2 so i used a one kilo ohm resistor to keep it pulled down and then to supply like an input with the push button. I didn't want to directly send like a VDD power directly into an input pin because I know then I know that that can cause damage. So I used a one kilo ohm resistor off of VDD through a push button to trigger input pin GP2 or pin three actually. So here they are here. They actually look different because they're different varieties, but they are both 1K resistors, even though one's blue and a different color, just in case you're wondering. So I'll push the button again. Um, I might comment on my experimenters platform, this entire female connector is all connected underneath the PCB so there's continuity between all the female sockets so this is all ground this is all ground this is all power so I could plug into any one of these sockets to power the board or tap off off of it and then each of these uh, GP GPIO pins are hooked up to a separate socket. So it made it a lot easier than just having a big uh, mess of wires trying to program the PIC kit. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your attention. Have a good day.